every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you guys can see, we're gonna do a Timu, Tamu, whatever you wanna call it, haul. And yeah, let's get right into it. Um, I've heard a lot about Temu, Timu. And so I wanted to get a couple things. Now I will say, I'm so used to Sheen. So for me, going on Timu was a little harder for me because I also think the prices are a little higher than Sheen. But Sheen is also going up there too, so. You know, it's debatable. I've heard mixed reviews on this website. Their clothes are not so good, but the accessories and other miscellaneous things that are not clothes are good. So I mainly got that just to be safe, but I did get a couple of clothing items. I can't 100% remember because I've had these boxes sitting here for a couple of weeks. I pulled up my order just in case they missed something and hopefully I have enough time that if they did miss something that I can get it delivered. That's another thing guys, like, if you're gonna order something and you're making a YouTube video for it, you gotta keep in mind the time crunch. I don't know if there's a 30 day return on this website, but hopefully I got everything. Let's start with the bigger one because it's really not. Okay. Oh, clothing item. Now I will try on the clothes, but I'm gonna put them on the side for now because I wanna try that on last. I'm only gonna get up once, so. <laughs> All right, clothing, clothing. Okay, what is this? Ooh, okay, so I think I know what this is. What the heck? Y'all, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Pause, pause. My hands are orange. What? Is the box like. Hold up, hold up. It better not stain my shirt. Pause, hold on. It's a white shirt, y'all. I don't wear white often, but when I do. Hold on, okay, this one doesn't have that much. Where did that come from? This better not stay in my bed, my bedding, because that's crazy. Okay, okay, interesting. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I'm gonna get a towel, <laughs> I'm gonna get a towel. Be right back. I generally have no clue what that was, but I have my towel ready. Here's the proof that I washed my hands. Wash my hands. Yes, I washed my hands, and if it, if we get more orange, then we'll know it's definitely from the box. My hands were clean before this video, I promise y'all. My hands are always clean. I don't know. We'll figure out this mystery. Okay, so, like I was saying... I believe this is a rock. Let me explain further. So basically, you can hide your key inside this rock. You know how sometimes you left your key somewhere, lost it, whatever the case. Boom, get an extra spare key. Hide it somewhere outside, by your door, wherever, backyard, wherever. Wherever you can access this without your key. Bam, you get the spare key and bam. Put this in between other rocks and bam, you're good to go. Now the trick here is, I would say this rock looks pretty real. So if I were you, I would take a picture of the rock and kind of save it on my phone. Knowing me, I'm going to look crazy. Imagine you left your key somewhere and it's 2 o'clock and you're sifting through rocks by your apartment. You're going to look crazy, you know? So uh, I want to avoid all that. Just make sure you know where this rock is. And see, like, the back of it. Boom. You open it. Boom. Put that key in there. Bam. Disguise it. Now, it would be a problem if you have an apartment that has no grass and no rocks. Hey. I don't know. Make it work, man. I don't know. Get some fake grass. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. But this will work for me. Hey, the rock looks pretty real, y'all. I mean... Tell me otherwise. Do y'all think this rock looks fake? I think it looks pretty real. I like, I like. So yeah, this is the key box. I will link everything in the description, okay? So that's the first item. I'm gonna just throw everything on the floor because that orange is still in my head. Ooh, I'm excited about these. So, 
I got some fake nails. I got several. I believe I got a. I got. I got several. I'm excited about these because you guys know me. Y'all know I don't really do. I don't do nails in general. But if I do, I'm gonna get fake nails. And I'm trying to get back into the long nails. I sit and work at a computer all day, so it's just hard for me to touch the keyboard. So that's why I really don't like it. And then. All the other little issues like you can't put your necklace on because the nail is going to... just It's just a lot of little issues. But I will say it is cute. I went for basic. I believe most of the nails I got were basic. But these are cute. I'm excited to try these. Now another thing I will say. If you get any fake nails, don't ever use the glue that it comes with. Get a good certified nail glue. I'm telling y'all. Like, I don't know the brand. But just get a good one. I'll, I'll, insert, I'll insert a picture of a good nail glue. Get that. Don't ever use the little pink stick. Okay. Use something else if you want it to last a long time. I'm talking two weeks and up. Yes. That's one of the nails. Ooh. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I also got these for my toes. I've never, ever put it, put press on nails for my toes or done anything for my toes besides, you know, just painting them. At the nail salon but i've never got fake nails for my toes ever 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 i will say though these look really big these look really really big my toe is not that big my toenail is not that big i don't know we'll see these look cute though i like the little whatever that is called it's cute i'm a little nervous about these but these are called manicure press on nails. Okay, let me get all the nails out of the way. Nail, nail. Ooh, these are really long. I got these nails. Look at how pretty they are though, the, the patterns. It's really, really cute now. These are long, y'all. Although I knew that from the pictures, but oh my goodness, y'all see how long they are? I don't think I've ever worn nails this long, ever, ever. That's crazy. Okay, see, it's definitely the packaging. Look at that. Y'all, y'all see that? Boom. Back to orange. Hey, I guess it matches the everything. The packaging, the shirt. We're ready. I guess. Good thing I got my towel. That's crazy. I wonder if anybody else has ever had this issue. I've never seen a. Timu Hall where they talked about their nails, but maybe um, where they talked about their hands being orange But maybe they didn't realize I don't know. So yeah, these are cute. I'm just a little nervous to wear them out. Honestly I'm very nervous And these are both this from the same brand these two All the other ones don't match then I got these basic kind of French tip nails I'm really into that right now the French tip it's just hard for me to do it at home. These are not long. I like this. This 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 is something that I can wear. This is comfort for me. This is my comfort zone for me with the with the nails. I like this. This is perfect. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's perfect. But you know, my issue was I wanted to get all short nails. I'm not gonna lie. I did want to do that. But the issue with getting short nails is I feel like all the cute patterns and nail ideas are all with only long nails so i'm not sure what that's about but if you're a nail tech watching this i love me some short nails i know a lot of people like short nails too and i would say that i would like to see the same variety that we see with long nails that's all i'm saying and last but not least i got these green tip ones these are fire Oh yeah, these are fire. And these 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 are these are good too. The size is it's 50-50. It's not like it's not like too long and it's not too short. It's right there. I like these. These are good. I love the color too. I love it. Oh, these are gonna be fire. And these are the only ones that kind of have like an oval shape to them. The other ones are just square. Alright, and that's it for the nails. Ooh, okay, this is a kitchen item. I'm excited about this one. You know you're getting older when you get excited about kitchen appliances and just home stuff, cooking and all that. Okay, so this is actually, let me get the professional name. This is a pineapple core and slicer tool. So I've been buying pineapples 
like a big pineapple not not the ones that, you, that are already cut because it's too expensive y'all it's too expensive you get more out of the pineapple if you cut it yourself it's more work of course but it's more juicy and you get more if you do it yourself okay that's all i'm saying so bam i got this little tool to help me cut it oh what i don't know I hope I didn't break it. Oh, this is just a protection. Okay. This is just a protection because it's sharp right there. If you guys can see, yes, protection. Always, always stay safe, kids. How this works is, I believe, let's see. Okay, so I'm not trying to kill myself right now. How does this work? We're gonna figure this out together. How come whenever you're on Timu, this always pops up like, bro, I don't want, I don't want any discounts. Can I just look in peace? Okay, so there's a little video. Oh, so you just twist it. You don't even, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, didn't figure it out. It's all good. I'll figure it out when I'm in the kitchen trying to cut this thing. I'll figure it out in the kitchen when I'm trying to cut the pineapple. Now I can't even put the protector back on. Yeah, uh, I can't 100% figure it out right now, but it's something with turning this thing right here and just twisting it and bam, it gets to the core of the pineapple and you got yourself the pineapple. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't more help, you guys. And, ooh. I'm about to kill myself. If you guys didn't know this, please, 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 anything that you get from anywhere, the mall, anywhere, make sure you wash this before you use it, okay? Okay, just thought I'd put that in there. Bam. Next thing we got is a dish, dish I can't speak today, a dishwasher magnet. I've seen these, but I've never had one, so I'm excited. This is gonna change the game, man. This is gonna change the game. No more asking me, is this clean? Is this dirty? Nope. Cause guess what? It'll tell you. It'll tell you. So I'm gonna open it. So you know it's magnetic. So most dishwashers are magnetic. I think they are, all are. Don't quote me on that. If it doesn't stick, then you can they give you a little sticky so you can stick it on both sides and boom, you're good to go. What does it say? Okay. Oh, what does it say? Okay, clean. Hmm. These look kind of dirty. Yeah, I know. The dirty sign is on, man. Game changer. And this is the cutest one that I found. The rest were just not my vibe, but they do have different styles. So you guys go ahead and check that out. And the gliding, you know, it's not complicated, you know. It glides pretty good. 10 out of 10. Okay, I guess I ordered more clothes than I thought I did because... What is this? Why does this look like a clown suit? What is it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even remember that, but. Okay. What is this? So these are actually nail protectors. Now I thought these would be kind of like thick, you know, like the ones that you, not, not at the nail. Well, yeah, actually the ones that they have at the nail salon, that's kind of what I thought they would be. But I mean, this will work too. Oh, what the, what am I talking about? That I don't even make sense. I'm thinking this is for my toes. Oh, this is for your nails, like hand nails, a manicure, not a pedicure. I'm so dumb. Oh, these are cool. So it's kind of like a tape for your nails. So if you're doing your nails by yourself, you can mess up as much as you want and you don't have to worry about getting the skin. Ooh, look at that game changer. Ooh, look, I'm excited about these. Look, this is how it says to apply it in the back. Oh, I don't even remember ordering this. Perfect. I'm excited about this. I wish I could reuse them over and over again. Okay, the real reason why I ordered on Timu. Phone cases. I got a bunch of phone cases. I got a new phone, so needed some phone cases. So let me get all the phone cases for y'all. I only got three phone cases because I'm really picky when it comes to phone cases. So the first one I got is... I got Itachi and Sasuke. Ooh, fire. They're together right there and together right there. It's just fire. Like, the whole thing is fire. Look. 
Ooh, and y'all see the close-ups? Ooh, fire. Fire, fire. Love that. The next one I got is this little... I don't know if this is a bear or what, but I've always wanted to get the little figurine for my house. I'm sorry, I don't know what the little figurine thing is called, but I like the, the guy or the figurines, if y'all know what I'm talking about. So I got this case. Maybe it's called, maybe it's called Cause. I don't know. I don't know, but I thought this phone case was fire. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. That little thing right there. That. Yeah, that little thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Maybe it's called Cause. I don't know, but I thought it looked fire. Now, last but not least, I thought I got more phone cases, but like I said, I'm really picky. So, I'm not surprised. I got this camera case, actually. And I got it in green. They had a lot of different colors, but I got this one in green, and I love it. But what's different about this case from all the other ones... Wait, wait, wait. Look at this, look at this. So, you don't have to do the strap. It comes without the strap on. You know, just like a lot of other things. They don't force you with the strap, but you can take it on, take it off, whatever you want it. You can put it on, take it off, whatever you want to do. Bam, y'all. It's a little purse. So let's let's test it out right now, y'all. Let's test it out. I got this boring clear case. Because in the meantime, when I was waiting for these cases to come in, you cannot. With these iPhones that are made of glass now, you cannot drop this, okay? <laughs> I wasn't going to risk it. I also bought a screen protector for the camera because that's something that really concerned me when I got it. I was like, mm -mm, I cannot drop this thing. So let's see if it will even fit with the little protector thing that I have. Oh, oh, it does fit. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, no, it does not fit. So, like, it fits, but it... Oh, God, I have my phone on. No. So, it fits. Oh, that sucks. So, I wonder if I can take this off. So, unfortunately, with the protector that I have on the camera, it fits everything but that. It snugs all the other parts of the phone, except that little part. Y'all see how the phone's kind of out right there? Yeah, I don't know if that's safe. But yeah, it's super cute. It's actually really, really cute, y'all. I love it. Ah, it's so cute. And it's a little details, you see? It's like a camera. In the meantime, since I'm not sure how safe it is, I'm about to just put back my regular boring... Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. While we're here, might as well. Let's test out the other ones. I think it might be a problem with all these cases. Yeah, it's looking like there's going to be a problem with all these cases. Yeah, so that's a problem with all the cases. Let's test out this one. This one might work. You know why? You know why? You know what it is. So these don't work because they have the built-in protection. Now this one is just loose. Go crazy. So this one should be good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, y'all see how this one works? Yep, that's why. Hey, this is fine with me. You could get Sasuke, I'm gonna get Itachi. Okay. Anytime I get a phone case, it has to match with a finger ring. That's what it's called, the finger ring. It sounds weird, but it's a finger ring. So I got several of those. I got three for three phone cases. Got this one, this cute little clear flower. And my main thing about this, the, the reason why I get this is because I like to watch TV on my phone if I'm, I don't know, if I'm eating out or something. I'm an iPad kid, okay? I need to watch a show while I'm eating. So, I love how strong it is. That's my main thing. It has to be strong. And it does have a cute little bling right there on the finger, too. You'll see that? But my main thing is not about cute. My main thing is, is it sturdy? Is it strong enough to hold the weight of the phone? And I got this other one. This one's a heart, and this one is silver. The last one, the daisy, was gold, and it was cuter than this one, and this one's silver and clear. It's looking like this one passes the sturdy test too. And this one might be a little more loose than that one. That one was a little harder to move than this one. And then last but not least, I've never gotten one of these. So this is like a little bunny. And they have a bunch of different colors. This one, you don't have a lot of room to move it around. Like those, you can do any position. This one, it's just going to be that one position. See, that's the thing about getting a nice phone case. Is 
Where am I supposed to put this? I feel like it's gonna ruin the phone case. If I put it, I mean, I guess I could put it, I guess I could put it right here. If I put it right there, you can still see them. And that's why I got them clear. That was the main thing of why I got it clear for the phone cases not to be messed up. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I messed it up? Or does it still look okay-ish? I think it still looks okay-ish. Now, is it perfect as it was before? Of course not, but you know, I know you guys can't really. Oh, ow! Ooh, that hurt my foot. Ooh. <sighs> but I'm telling y'all, it passes the stand-up test. We'll see. So that's why I like these. And and bam, bam. Okay, bam. That's why I don't like the pop socket. I've I've tried all the other ones. I don't like them. I only like the ring, the finger ring. That's my favorite one. That's the only one I like to do. So, bam. Bam. Okay. That took way longer than it needed to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Random, but I got a bunch of gibbets or charms for the Crocs. And this one is a pack of how many? Let's see. 35 pieces. And it was only $4. Now, you tell me this isn't a good deal. Now, will you like all the ones that are in here? No. But... Will you like most of them? Of course, you should. If not, you gotta look around. I'm gonna show some of the ones I like. I'm not gonna show all 35 pieces. So they have a bunch of sporty ones, a bunch of sports. I see soccer. Ooh, I didn't even see this one on the little package. I love this. It's, it's kind of like a nursing heart. This ice cream looks good. It says sweet. I like the color of it. Ooh, there's a cute butterfly. Okay, two more, two more. I gotta show y'all the butterfly. I have to show y'all the butterfly. Look at this butterfly. The butterfly and then Minnie's bow. Or just a bow. So cute. So yeah, guys. Check those out. Do not go on the Crocs website and buy the ones on the website. Please. Please. It's going to hurt my heart to see you spend that money on a charm. No, don't do it. And if you don't like them all, you can gift them to somebody else who likes the sport or um, the charm that you don't like. Okay, generosity pays off. So this thing is really cool. I saw these things were trending on Target, and I never saw them at Target. But guess where I did see them? Timu. So, went ahead, added to cart. So this is to get all the hairs, your pet's hair off the carpet, off the stairs. Just get it. Now you gotta get in there, like put in that work. You gotta put in that work, but man when i tell you the videos that i saw when people did this it pays off hopefully it works well hopefully i'll remember and give you guys an update whether i like it or not so yes pretty cool let's open this package and then we'll try on the clothes i feel like i got way more stuff than this but i don't know i feel like we all feel that way when we order stuff so dang I got this personal alarm. Now, ladies, it's always been crazy in this world, but honestly, I think it's getting crazier. It's getting crazier, so you have to be ready for anything. And if it's the little things that can save our life, then let's go ahead and add to cart. And let's go ahead and be safe. Always be aware of your surroundings. Pay attention. Please, please, please. I used to be one of those people that would go places to the, like the movie theater or just outside and not pay attention to my surroundings. Please, please, please make sure you're aware of your surroundings because you don't know what could happen. You always have to be safe, especially when you're a female. So I got this personal alarm. You do have to charge it. I'm not sure if it's charged or not, but regardless, it's 9 o'clock right now. So I'm not going to test it. I did look at the reviews. Some people said that they tried it out and they said that it's, it works really well. It makes a big, big, loud sound. So this is an alarm. It's kind of like a car whenever you click it and you can't find it. It's kind of like bam, bam, bam. But from my understanding, this is supposed to be way louder, way louder. So if anybody is trying to do something to you and you're trying to get someone's attention, if you have put this on your keychain, put this on your keychain, make sure it's charged. Put this on your keychain and bam. All you have to do is click this button. I don't know if you guys can see. It says SOS and it'll do its thing. Be really loud. It'll get people. What it's supposed to do is get people's attention. And somebody should come and be like, yo, 
what's all this noise you know so definitely definitely recommend you get this honestly everyone needs this i feel so i got this in white they have a bunch of other colors um and yeah i feel like this is an essential i got this wax stick so what this does is it lays your hair down now i've seen a lot of things like this trending i don't even know why i smell it my nose doesn't work y'all i always have allergies that way and i can't smell anything now how do how, how does this work oh oh my goodness okay okay i guess i have to do about is there no way to like twist it Okay, there's no way to twist it. So what you do is to pull it up, you just literally pull it up. Slowly and gentle. And then bam, you literally lay it down. So I'm kind of scared. So I hope it doesn't leave a white. Now, I don't even know if I have any hair standing up. I'm pretty sure oh, I see one right there. So I can't see if this is working or not, y'all. But that's what it's supposed to do lay your hair down did it lay my hair down y'all i can't see i have a big bright light behind me it's blinding me man so y'all let me know let me know if it laid my hairs down if it did go get this i got this portable paper soap now there's been times where i've gone to public bathrooms and they didn't have any soap and i'm sorry but water is not enough okay water is not enough you need some soap you need some soap, a disinfectant, something to wash your hands, you know? So, fortunately, for those times, I am now ready. I'm not 100% sure how they work, but basically... Oh, let's, let's look at the... Okay, let's look at the... It says, remove soap sheet from packaging with dry hands. With dry hands. Okay, they have to be dry for us. With dry hands and place on hand. Place hand under water and massage into and lather it for 20 seconds. Rinse and repeat when life gets messy. Love that. <laughs> okay, so it's pretty simple. So, it's a cute little cow. I like the packaging. Cute little cow. And I love the size. It's not going to take up too much room in my purse. It's not going to be heavy. It's very lightweight. And there's 50 sheets. Okay, so boom. Boom, open it like a little pouch. Grab your sheet. I'm not going to grab it. Grab your sheet. Place in your hand, your dry hand. Put it under water and bam, go crazy. I love this. So cute. Oh, 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 oh. I remember why there's a cow. So you can do different smells, different scents. There was lavender. There was a bunch of other ones, but unfortunately, everyone wants lavender. So lavender was sold out. I decided to get milk because why not? Let's see if I can smell it. I don't smell any milk. Right, let me make sure I don't have anything left in this big one because I would hate to throw something out because I didn't check correctly. These are kind of like Y2K style type of glasses. I think it actually did lay down my hair on the low, y'all. I think it laid my hair, man. You get a case. Basic black case. I get scared ordering glasses online because we all have different head shapes, you know? Ooh. Right off the bat, I love, love, love the hearts. So these are pink glasses, as you guys can see. And see, it's protected. Ooh, y'all. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. A moment. Moment of silence, y'all. Ooh. That bling. Y'all see that? That's fire. Okay. Okay, what do we think? Do y'all think it's too big for my head or do y'all think it's cute? Comment down below. Let me know. Would you get these glasses? Side angle. Side angle. Sorry, y'all. This, this is my good side right here. Ooh. Okay. 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 The real question is, does it pass the, the face lock thing? Okay, it does. It does. I figured it would because you can see my eyes, but just wanted to test that. Just wanted to test that. Okay. So you can unlock your phone. You don't have to be like, you know. Love that, love that. Oh, I'm so excited to wear these. Oh, now how do I put these back in the case without... I have to be gentle with these. These look delicate. And that completes the accessory slash miscellaneous part of the haul. Let's get to work with these clothes. This first outfit is a two-piece set. I got everything in a size small. 
but the way this is fitting me and i don't know if you guys can see it on camera it fits like a medium i'm not gonna lie and y'all know i gained some weight so it's not a problem on my end and even if it was it's a small okay it's running a little big for a small i don't know that's just me and then the leggings are super baggy too y'all see that pouch just like that unflattering just that unflattering thing that you get with some jeans and leggings sometimes it shouldn't happen with leggings but it can happen with leggings these aren't joggers because they're not thick enough to be joggers i would say these are leggings i like the pattern of it i really do and i like the color it's a cream color i'm a little disappointed i wish they were tighter because on the model whatever she's wearing looks tight and fitted and that's what i was going for tight and fitted and this is loose they don't even have extra small because i would have ordered extra small if they did have an extra small but they don't have an extra small so i ordered the smaller size which is small i don't know if y'all think this looks good on me i don't think it does i mean the top works you know but i liked this as a set i really really do because i love the patterns on the leggings as well it's just loose it's loose i'm telling y'all it's loose now y'all do know i'm really really short so it is a little baggy here even my other leggings that don't really fit me are still tight if they're tight they're tight it doesn't matter if i'm short or tall so they're just baggy hopefully the next one's a little better this next one is a little bit out of my comfort zone but i really do like it i hope my dad's not on here thinking what are you wearing <laughs> dad i promise i'm wearing clothes i don't know if this is the y2k vibes i think it is but if i'm if i'm wrong then i'm wrong but this is fire, y'all. I like it. I really like it. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, y'all. This year is all about being uncomfortable. Stepping out your comfort zone and just trying out new clothes. I really like this. I really do like this. And, yes, it's long on me, but y'all know I'm short, so that's inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> that can be helped since I'm so short, so it's all good. It's all good. You wear some heels with this and you'll be fine. Now, the top. The top is another moment. The, the pants are a moment too. This is that outfit that I was like, oh, what is this? Is this a clown suit? Because that's what it looks like. But it did not disappoint. I like this. This is in a size small. Again, everything is in a size small. But I will keep mentioning it if you want me to. It almost feels inappropriate. But it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm being childish, y'all. It's fire. It's fire. Before I go on to show you guys this outfit, I wanted to mention the last outfit had pockets and it was comfortable. So, very important. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it on me. It looked good on the model, but I feel like standing here, I feel like I look childish. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it just doesn't compliment me or what, but <laughs> I don't know. The top is very loose on me. I'm not going to lie. And the pants, the leggings are perfect, but the top is loose. So, I don't know. Let me look at what the model looked like because <laughs> I'm just trying to see what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, she looked fire. Like, come on now. <laughs> I mean, am I missing something? And then this is what the back looks like. It looks like I'm going to the gym to embarrass myself. I, I don't know. I, am I being too harsh? Or do, you, do you guys think it looks fire? Should I step outside with this fit? Yes or no? Be honest. You know, you got the blues, the blacks. I look like an x-ray. Sometimes staying in your comfort zone is good too. These last two items are going to be swimsuits. I'm not going to show the bottoms just because I just don't feel comfortable showing the bottoms. But I will show you guys the bottoms here. They're very cheeky. They do fit. I don't like that it's not adjustable. So if you're going to wear this, wear this on your honeymoon or a romantic vacation. Not with family. Hey, unless you don't care, then it's cool. But... Mm. It has two rings on both sides, if you guys can see the rings. The swimsuit is blue and brown. The swimsuit top is also not adjustable, which overall, I mean, it fits me, but I don't feel like it's fair for other body types. I think that's the beauty of a swimsuit, that you can always adjust it. With this one, you don't get to adjust it, unfortunately, which I don't love. Now, I do like it. It is flattering. All right, on to the last item. I almost didn't even include this clothing piece because 
is all kinds of wrong, y'all. It's a one-piece set. I've never in my adulthood owned a one-piece set, but I wanted a one-piece set. And this is why you don't get a one-piece set. <laughs> it doesn't fit. It's not adjustable. This was impossible to figure out. I look like Aquaman. I just, I, I hate it. It's horrible. I'm donating it. I just, whatever. I'm just not keeping it. I don't like it. It's not flattering on my body. This looks weird on me. And it doesn't even fit well. And everybody was in the comments saying that too. I guess I overlooked the reviews. I don't know. I don't know. It was an error on my part. If you guys want clothes, go to Sheen. Nine times out of ten, they will not disappoint. If you want accessories and stuff like that, I would say either or. They both work. The clothes were just catfish. I don't know. They just weren't it. The sizes were wrong. You can't even get an extra small. What's that about? I don't know. Overall, I did like the accessories i would say stick to that and that completes our clothing haul thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and most of all to your tia to your, your abuela your auntie to everybody and i'll see you guys next time bye